Powerful 7 amp motor, 12,000 RPM. Compact grip diameter for increased control. Tool free guard for easy adjustment. Epoxy coated field protects the motor against abrasion. A slide switch with lock on for increased productivity. And finally, the airflow overdrive system improves cooling during use. What's up, everybody? I'm Sean with the hashtag Very Cool Guys. And today we'll be showing you a little demonstration of a Milwaukee small angle grinder. First things first, safety first. Let's throw this safeguard on there. You push this tab down in the back here. It lowers it, and then once you're down, you can spin. There's certain grooves here for the for the for the safety wheel to fit on. Once it's on, then you can spin it. Let go of the tab. There's your first click. Press the tab back in. Second click. It's got all these notches here the for the desired angle. We'll leave it right there. For now. Well, let's pop our wheel on. Again, press the button. It's on to the break of dawn. We're gonna cut this uh, this piece of off thread. Always important to wear safety glasses. And move fire stuff out of the way. And move flammable objects out of the way. That's a, that's a clean cut. Thing's a beast. We can also use the also handle. Also has the handle attachment for either side. Let's screw it in here or here. Left handed or right handed? Left handed or right handed. You can use this to cut practically oh, anything. Practically yeah. anything. If you had the right blade. Like Norm said, you got a diamond tip blade, you can cut tile, you can cut concrete, you can cut metal, you can cut even cut wood if you want. This is a much thinner piece of metal. We saw that's a thicker piece. Blasted right through that. Let's see what it does to the thin. That's a matter of five seconds to cut through that. Blasted right through that. Things as a well. beast. It is a beast. Look at that. Wheel. How do you change wheels, Sean? Same way you install this wheel. What do you, you have to do? This what, are the, what are the steps? This is concrete and mason. Make sure you're holding this button in. Lock that wrench in, concrete like so. Pop that wheel off once it's loose. Metal. Spin it. Bada bing. Bada bing. It's metal, right? What do you think, Norm? Pretty smooth. What do you think, Sean? Pretty smooth. Technically, it's a wire, basically, not technically, just basically, it's a wire brush. You know, like when you clean the rust and stuff off of? Yeah, it cleaned it up. For paint. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it, you feel it is really smooth. You use it the same. Th you use it for the same stuff you use a hand wire brush, oh, but smooth, yeah. it works a lot better because it's at going at high speed. I wish we had something that was rusty in here. I mean, it's not perfect. But I can, can see the difference. Obviously, right? see. Yeah. And we're just showing another use for it. Right. But normally you would use a vise to hold it instead of me holding it. <laughs> <laughs> Ideally. But you, you see that? That's no, really you're nice. as strong as a vise. Got vice grip on it. See, that's all rusty and dirty. Totally see the difference. It's great. So there's well, a lot of stuff you can use. It's a metal grinding wheel. 
concrete and masonry grinding wheel. This is a metal cutting wheel. The different one of the differences is the, the metal the cutting wheels are much thinner than grinding wheels. And this one is for concrete and masonry. This one is for metal. Because when you're grinding, you go on the side. When you're cutting, you go at that Straight angle. Edge. Yeah. And then here, I think we already showed this. This is the heavy duty for. This is like what the floor guys do when they grind and polish the concrete. You just saw us use that. That's for painting and getting rust off. It's basically a wire brush. This is one for cutting top. Grab the hammer drill. It's, it's kind of used, but this is one for cutting yeah, top. You know if the hammer drills over here? This also yeah. has, it's right there in a box box. It also has diamonds. You can't really see it, but those little nicks, those are actually diamonds. That's not a default in the blade. There, there's diamonds embedded in this wheel. This is for cutting um, top. This has a locking trigger. It locks in, and when you want to disengage, you press down. Give me your honest review, Sean. Yeah, wrap, up. wrap honest, this video up. My honest review is this thing's a beast. It's got a lot of power. Um, got a lot of safety features. And um, I think Milwaukee makes a great tool. I'm a fan of various other Milwaukee tools, and this definitely didn't disappoint. Um, I highly recommend it. <laughs> That's my review. Make sure you like this video, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, thanks a lot. Have a good day. All right, at least that one, I'll, I'll stop there. Can you tell he likes this? Yeah. Yeah, I think this is the way to go for. If you ever have to polish the rust off of a tire iron, <laughs> this is the wheel to do it with. Right here.